Hey guys, Nate Zielinski here. It is early pronghorn season. Uh, you know, it's just getting started and we got a lot of bucks and that's our favorite thing about pronghorn. You know, obviously we've been itching for, for months and months to get back in the field. So pronghorn is a great way to start it because got lots of animals. So uh, we're just bouncing around animal to animal. Obviously there's no structure here. We're spotting and stalking. We don't want to sit in a blind. So we're actually driving to a hillside right here. We're going to jump up on this hill and uh, start walking towards some animals we have bedded. So they're right here, so we're in literally the ultimate setup. We're up in the highest grasslands in North America. And we're breaking out of the whole realm. You gotta hunt water. We're all about spot and stock, so you know, using decoys, whatever you gotta do, but we're active hunters, so we got a great group set up just on the side of this hill right here. We're sneaking up on the backside, the wind's in our favor. We got big shadows, which is kind of a negative. The only hard part is, is there's a bunch of us. Here we got Dev and Tim myself there's three of us and where this buck is at great shootable position everything about it's perfect but we're going to come over the hill and unfortunately the shadow he's going to see it so it's going to be a quick decision it's going to be we're up there draw quick get it on camera and let it fly so it's going to be more just a fast decision once we get up here but everything's set up perfect so we're going to keep easing up here make sure everything is set and uh, hopefully peer over right above where he's at we got a good landmark from seeing him out here so hopefully it all goes well we're going to walk up here and check it out Nothing we did, they uh, they just happened to get up before we got here. Again, we're talking about them being bedded was a, a strange thing. They got up before we were uh, before we were ready, and uh, obviously they just saw us now as we sat down. We knew they were out of range, so we kind of sat down kind of normal, and uh, there they go. First stock, antelope one, Nate Zielinski, zero. Mosquitoes, 500. right here in front of us. Literally, these bucks are starting to chase so hard. We saw a buck earlier standing there with his tongue hanging out of his mouth. He's been chasing these doe so hard. This buck here, we got a doe decoy right in front of us. Just seeing if uh, curiosity will get him, I'll tell you. We got super close on this buck earlier. Kind of buggered him up, but uh, we're gonna sit here a second and see. You can tell they're, uh, they're very curious right now with the rut going on. We started up high and we were just bucks chasing each other. I mean, I think in this last situation, we had four bucks chasing each other and running around and running around. And this buck was tired and broke off. And I, you know, I've just been standing here. We snuck up and he probably came 100 yards to us and we came the rest to him and uh, he let me get to draw 40 yards. We got him down.
feeling the rain. Feeling the rain. We just got that bow last night. I got this bow in the mail last night. Wanted to yeah, shoot this. You wanted to shoot the rain. Uh, literally, it's it's the smartest bow out there. I mean, literally two hours at the range, and I'm just dialed in. And uh, I'll tell you what, you talk about dialed in. That's dialed in right there. Pronghorn down. All right, guys. Let's get some still photos, man. I am excited. Well, there you go. My hard-earned work paid off, and it paid off quick. Guys, make sure you take advantage of all the knowledge Bowtech's putting out there on all their live feeds. It's all week, every week. Take advantage of all the smart shooters as well. All the tips and education will help you become more, a better hunter and far more successful, guys. It worked for me, and all the stuff works. Make sure you watch it.